let us see now 3.3 conditions for consistency now the equation is said to be consistent if they have solution and equation is said to be inconsistent if they don't have any solution but without actually solving it how do we find what is the consistency now if we consider two simultaneous uh, equations like a1x plus b1y equal to c1 and a2x plus b2y equal to c2 now you also make note in your notes book the conditions for the consistency okay let us write in the tabular form the first condition is if a1 upon a2 is not equal to b1 upon b2 you will get from any two equations you will get a1 a2 b1 b2 c1 c2 right x and y are variable all other are constants so if a1 upon a2 is not equal to b1 upon b2 then the solution is unique then the solution is unique that means you will get only one value of x one value of y and these see this is the equation of line the in the x equation linear equation in x y is the equation of line so these two are intersecting lines and you know we have seen in the graphical method that when two intersecting lines are there they intersect in only one point so the solution is unique and the lines are intersecting lines second condition is if a1 upon a2 is equal to b1 upon b2 but not equal to c1 upon c2 if this is the case a1 upon a2 and b1 upon b2 are same but they are they are not equal to c1 upon c2 c1 upon c2 is some different figure in this case there is no solution and the lines are parallel and we have parallel lines the third condition is if all three are same that is a1 upon a2 is equal to b1 upon b2 is equal to c1 upon c2 in this case there are infinite solutions infinite solutions and the lines are coincident lines okay so if you are asked to check the consistency of some equations in that case what you have to do just find out a1 upon a2 and tally with b1 upon b2 and c1 upon c2 based on these three conditions you will come to know if the equations are consistent or not one and three are called as consistent because they have solution right the first and three the first is the unique solution third is the infinite solution but still they have the solution when second is called as these are called as consistent consistent and inconsistent equations these two are consistent equations and in this case they are inconsistent equations let us solve some example based on this i have written these conditions so that we can refer them time by time the first is first example is without actually solving the equations given below examine which equations have unique solution no solution or infinitely many solutions 
we don't have to solve those examples actually the first is let us say x plus 3y plus 4 equal to 0 x plus 3y plus 4 equal to 0 and 2x plus 6y minus 3 2x plus 6y minus 3 equal to 0 so in this case we will find out a1 upon a2 and b1 upon b2 a1 upon a2 is 1 upon 2 b1 upon b2 is 3 by 3 upon 6 that is 1 upon 2 and c1 upon c2 is 4 upon minus 3 these two are equal but these are not equal so as per the second condition these equations have no solution because those are the parallel lines let us see few more 4x minus y minus 6 4x minus y minus 6 equal to 0 and 2x minus y by 2 2x minus y upon 2 equal to 3 I have to first take these 3 to this side so that the equation will be in normal form so I will write minus 3 equal to 0 let us check a1 upon a2 that is 4 upon 2 then this is minus 1 upon minus 1 by 2 and this is minus 6 and minus 3 so we have 2 this 2 will go up 2 and again 2 all 3 are same that is a1 upon a2 equal to b1 upon b2 equal to c1 upon c2 so these equations have infinitely many solutions so that is coincident lines let us see one more y is equal to 2x plus 14 and 7x equal to 2y plus 5 7x equal to 2y plus 5 first bring it to standard form that is first equation is 2x minus y plus 14 equal to 0 and this will be 7x minus 2y minus 5 equal to 0 so a1 upon a2 is 2 upon 7 this is 1 upon 2 and this will be minus 14 upon 5 so in this case only we will tally with the first condition because the first condition itself is contradicting that is a1 is a1 upon a2 is not equal to b1 upon b2 we don't have to even find out this once you get that a1 upon a2 is not equal to b1 upon b2 then you don't have to go further and find out the value of c1 upon c2 strictly you have the unique solution that means these two are intersecting lines okay let's go ahead now these kind of examples are very easy okay if you just want to check the consistency of the equations it is very easy maybe for uh, it will come for two marks but there is one more kind of example in this that is find the value of k for which the given equations have infinitely many solutions that means they are given two equations and they said they have the infinitely many solutions that means in those two equations a1 upon a2 b1 upon b2 and c1 upon c2 are same and we have to find out the value of k let us see what are the e equations are kx plus 3y equal to 8 kx plus 3y equal to 8 6x plus 9y equal to 24 let us solve this we have a1 upon a2 is k upon 6 this is 3 upon 9 b1 upon b2 and 8 by 24 in example itself it is given that the equations have infinitely many solutions when the equations have infinitely many solutions that means all three are equal 
right? So we have k upon 6 equal to 1 upon 3 equal to 1 upon 3. Since this both the values are 1 upon 3, by equating first and third, what we will get? k by 6 is equal to 1 upon 3. So k is equal to 6 upon 3. So k is equal to 2. So you got the value of k. These kind of examples are more likely to be appear in your paper. Maybe for again 2 or 3 marks. Can't say. Okay. Let's solve one more example of this type. Find the value of k for which the given equations have infinitely many solutions. Let us see what are the equations. kx plus 2y equal to k minus 2. kx plus 2y equal to k minus 2. And the second example is, uh, second equation is 8x plus ky equal to k. 8x plus ky equal to k. Now here, I will rewrite the equations kx plus 2y minus k minus 2 equal to 0 and 8x plus ky minus k equal to 0. Right? I have transferred k minus 2 directly to this side. Let us find a1 upon a2, b1 upon b2 and c1 upon c2. So here I have k upon 8 is equal to 2 upon k is equal to minus k minus 2 upon minus k. Because they are already given that the solutions are infinite, lines are coincident. Sometimes they may give that these two given equations are equations of lines which are coinciding with each other. They will not mention that there are infinitely many solutions. This is a trick again. So you should remember both. This is, if this condition is true, then there are infinitely many solutions and uh, coincident lines. Okay, you should remember both. Now, we have k upon 8 equal to 2 upon k. And we have 2 upon k equal to this. We will equate the first two equations. That is k square is equal to 16. So k is equal to plus minus 4. Now we will equate these two equations. So let us solve these two. 2 upon k is equal to k minus 2 upon k. I can cut this to 2 is equal to k minus 2. So k is equal to 4. Now by solving first 2 we got k is equal to plus or minus 4. By solving second 2 the last 2 we get k is equal to 4. So 4 plus 4 is satisfying both the conditions. So k is equal to 4 is the final answer. This is how we get the value of k. Whenever in the first example, b1 upon b2 and c1 upon c2 were same. So the answer would be same. Or k was not there. But in this case, in the both the, in all three exam, all three ratios, the k is there. So you have to find at least two values and then compare which are common. And then you can solve that example or find out the value of k. Isn't it? So let's see the next example. The problem is, find the value of m for which the given equations have unique solution means this okay let us uh, see what are the equations they are given mx plus 5y minus 11 mx plus 5y minus 11 equal to 0 and second is 14x equal to 15 minus 7y. 14x equal to 15 minus 7y. Before starting, we will first bring this equation into standard form. 
like we have 14x plus 7y minus 15 equal to 0. Now we have to find out only a1 upon a2 and b1 upon b2. Why? Because they are already given that these equations have unique solutions because those are intersecting lines and we have to find out the value of m. So we have m upon 14 is not equal to 5 upon 7. Now just like in case of equal to sign, remember how you solve both the sides or how you transform from this side to that side, that side to this side, denominator to numerator, numerator to denominator, positive negative. Similarly, you have to solve for this sign that is not equal to sign. So, m not equal to 5 upon 7 into 14. So, m not equal to 10. 7 twos of 14 is not equal to 10. So, they have asked find the value of m for which these equations have unique solution. So, my answer is the equations will, will have a unique solution for all the values of m except m equal to 10. Okay. Remember this. Except m equal to 10 for all the values of m, these lines will have the unique solution or they will become the intersecting lines. Let us see the example set or exercise 3.3 now. So friends, we have learned this topic thoroughly. We have solved some examples for practice. But we are going to solve all the exercises which are given in the book along with the problem set, then the hots, some paper solutions, everything we are going to solve. For further solution of exercises and problem set, please purchase our DVD. You can buy our DVD online by visiting our websites. The address for the websites or the place where you can buy your DVDs are given just below this video in the description. Thank you very much.